name's Steve from Stestix Fix, and in this video today I've been sent this Eufy Robovac 30C uh, by Mick. Now apparently it's faulty. Um, he hasn't really told me too much about it, but I'll just let you know exactly what he said. All he's really said is that it, it's faulty and it's incredibly noisy. He thinks there might be something stuck inside it. Now he did send me a video. And that's the noise it makes. So, um, I've charged it up while I was waiting. So I just thought I'd turn it on and just see, see if I can replicate that. See if I can try and figure out what's going on. Okay, just switched it on, so let's press the power button. Yeah, that's pretty loud. So I think when you take it apart, like I say, he thinks there's something stuck inside it, so... Um, I have rebuilt one of these from, from scratch, so if I, if I can remember how to do it, I should be able to get into this fairly easily, but I'll fast forward through it. So there should be a screw here, but I don't, I don't even know what that is. What is that? That all in where the screw hole is. I mean, I don't. I have no idea what that is. So there is still a screw in there, but it um, it's covered in my gunk. Some nice hair inside here. Mmm. I'll just put that there. Okay. So, why is it making that god awful noise? We got this white stuff again. What is that? Is this that something spilt on it or something? I don't know. Doesn't sound good, does it? It's very dirty under there, and it's got this stuff all over it. Let's concentrate on this. You know what? I don't think there's anything actually wrong with this. I think when I was undoing these screws, two of them weren't in properly. I just think that that was rattling around because it just wasn't um, it wasn't secured down properly. There we go, rattle's gone. I think I, I think that's all it was. I don't think there's anything stuck inside it. I just think it was uh, it's either worked itself loose or this has been apart before and someone's just not put it back together properly. Um so I'm just gonna give this a clean up, put it back together, um and then assuming that is 
is the fault. That's it, it's job done. Should hopefully help someone if they have the same problem. You can see how easy it is to take apart. And I imagine the I mean this is uh this is just the swappable part, so if, if this has gone, I presume it's dead easy to buy another one off eBay and just swap it out. Okay, so we've taken the uh, suction fan apart and inside here you can see, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little piece of plastic which is here, there we go, which doesn't, I don't think it's supposed to be in there. Uh, I don't, it looks like a something off Lego or something, I don't know. Um, now I don't think that was what was causing the rattling, I think the rattling was caused by the board being loose because as soon as I tightened that up the rattling did disappear but that is obviously going to uh, is going to hamper the the motor from spinning anyway so it probably didn't help so I'll take that out and then we'll put it all back together and then we'll, um, we'll see if it's uh, solved the problem Right, we're fully back together now. We've just switched it on. Just push the power button to get make it go. And there we go. It's definitely not rattling anymore. Sensors are working good. Oh. Okay, so we've still got we've got an error which off, which according to this, it's three beeps, it's solid light, rubber vac suction fan is stuck. Now obviously I removed the piece of debris that was in there uh, and I also secured the board down so it stopped rattling and there's nothing actually in there. So I'm guessing that the, the fan itself is, is damaged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart again and I'm going to replace the, the suction fan with with another one and then we'll see if the problem is solved right we're all back together now um, I've replaced the suction fan with another one so let's just test this and see if we have any any more luck Sounds good. Yeah, I think we can safely say that that's working now. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe for more Can I Fix It videos. Thank you and take care.